guys. So I came up with this idea of how to explain the all that is and how things are created. And I might see if I can get, when I see Jeremy, I may have him, because he's good at production, maybe he can come up with a better visual aid. But until then, let me see how this works. Okay, look at this. Okay, see that dot, that paper, and there's dots going all different all different directions. Now think that those dots are side to side, up all the way from next to each other, all different directions, top, bottom, in, out, everywhere. Okay? So now what happens is let's say that there's Stephanie. Let's say that a creator decides that they want to create something. Now they'll go over and they, they'll pick a part of this. Hey, Steph! Okay. What they'll do is they'll go over and they'll say, okay, I want to create this unique perspective. So they'll take all of this that it already is, and let's say that I'm going to draw lines. I'm going to draw these lines on these dots. And let's say that those, that is the creation of where you are right now, the dualistic um, creation with amnesia, okay? So now let's say somebody else wants to do something, they want to create something else. They may go and put it right here. See where it's over the top of it? And that just keeps happening. So the all that is, is all of this. But the creations that are created are intertwined and on top of each other. And, but they're not in exactly the same place. The, so they take a different perspective of the all that is and create something completely new. And then what will happen is they will take their space and they will have teeny tiny dots inside of it. Hold on a second. I'm doing teeny tiny dots. And they'll start connecting and making a design within those dot, that area. See those teeny tiny lines? And those teeny tiny lines will, will there'll be energy drawn between other ones and other ones and other ones until it's very, very complex. And that's the grid, the grid that is around um, everything that's created. But what we're talking about here in, <clears throat> in the grid on the, on the planet is that within that creation of, of dots upon dots upon dots, where you take a certain area of that and you create a perspective that is unique with these particular rules, so to speak, then when somebody comes into that square and they start drawing lines too, then they agree to stay within those parameters, that space. Okay. But they're going to start drawing lines in, out, up, down, deep, and above. And it kind of, so in other words, third dimensional earth, fourth dimensional earth, fifth dimensional earth, all of them are in the exact same place, okay? They don't go anywhere. It's a change of frequency. It's a change of perspective. So that is the reason why you don't have to go anywhere to go to a different game. All you've got to do is vibrate at a different frequency to get to that particular game. And source to... Um, merge with source is a specific frequency too. Actually, it's all frequencies and no frequencies all at the same time. So when you vibrate at that frequency, then you would merge back into the source, the all that is. And then what you could do is you can pull back out with a part of source, which you have identified as you. And then you can take that part of you that's you, take another part of the all that is, and create a different perspective, a different game, okay? The creator that created the parameters around this particular game, which is everything that you know of, everything that you've seen or heard about in 
the third dimension, all the galaxies, all the multiverses, um, the ultraviolet light, the um, microwaves, radio waves, all of that stuff is from this perspective and that creator that identified those parameters are who set up the original concepts of this particular game. But in order to get to, <clears throat> to another game, um, you just simply have to change frequencies. Well, if you're in a physical body, that physical body has to match whatever planet, frequency-wise, that that physical body um, lives on. Just like you think that the, the human body cannot go to a like Mars, where there is no oxygen and water, you're, the physical body would die. Well, the same thing would happen if that physical body goes to a game that does not, that is not within the frequency of that physical body, whether it's a bird, a leaf, or a rock, or a human being. You're, the frequencies of the interactions between the different creator gods within the all that is must match. So if you want to go moving, that's the reason why whenever you die, and I, whenever I died, and it came out of the physical body, it was very easy for me to uh, vibrate at source level and become one with source because it's simply a turning, a tuning, a changing of my vibration. So it was very easy for me to, to once I remembered, because I was out of the physical body, I was out of amnesia, so I remembered who I really was. So I just vibrated it at one frequency that was... Oh, you want to see something? Look at this. Isn't that cute? Can you see it? Can you see it? See the babies playing? Okay. So whenever I talk about going from third dimension to fourth dimension to fifth dimension in the physical body, and I... I suggest strongly that y'all be happier and happier and happier, uh, sing songs and think happy thoughts is because it is those thoughts that belief, those intentions that decide how this physical body is vibrating, what frequency it's vibrating at, okay? And that is that change of that vibration will tune you into what is already there, right where you are, right here, right now. But if you vibrate a different way, it's kind of like putting on different goggles that I've said before. Instead of having on regular eyes, you're going to put on ultraviolet goggles. Well, that's basically what your body is going to vibrate faster and faster. And what you see in front of you that's in third and fourth dimension will fade away, but it'll fade into the fifth dimensional visualization. So it's a very gradual process. You're not going to go from being 3D to 5D. It's not going to go just don't don't. It, it's going to be a gradual process. Like I've told you guys before, you didn't realize when you went from third dimension to fourth dimension, most of you didn't even realize that change had occurred. But just about everyone that's listening to me spends most of their time in the fourth dimension now. Even though you don't know there's a difference from where you were doing 10 years ago. Well, the same thing is true with the fifth dimension. It just will gradually, gradually, gradually change over. So when I ask you guys to go online and look for the good things, is I want you to vibrate at that frequency so you go higher and higher and higher. So you spend more and more time in a higher frequency that will lock you into a dimension that only accepts a range of very, very high frequencies. So the frequencies of that you would consider slow, like anger, sadness, despair, depression, they aren't within the range of the fifth dimensional planet Earth or Gaia. Okay? But you haven't gone anywhere. Just like the person who dies does not go anywhere. They're out of the human body. But the entity that inhabited the human body that is now dead is right here with you. Because they're on the other side and they're not in amnesia, most of them, some of them are, but most of them are not, they realize that you're vibrating in such a way that you cannot see them, even though they can interact and see you. So in order to interact with, with uh, beings that are 
in the fifth dimension or beings that are dead or um, aliens that are from a different place coming in at a different frequency. That's what you're doing. So try to keep that in mind when you're thinking about this, that you're not going to go anywhere. You in your body or if you die in your uh, out of body experience, you are going to go to different places in all in the all that is that is really more um, things on top of things in, mixed in with other things, but it's just a perspective of the part of a part of the all that is that you're going to lock into. When you are one with source, then you have access and you are all that is. But if you're playing a game, because all of it is games, then you have decided to see just a part, a certain perspective of the all that is. Does that make sense? Okay. So every lifetime that you have, every physicality that you have, every game that you play, every creation that you create is a way of looking at the all of all that is with limitations or from a certain or different perspective to see what that is like. So, yeah, it's kind of like God having games, living experiences to figure out what God is, what we are, all of us together, what we all are together. Okay, does that sound good? All righty then. All right then. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Love you bunches and huge hugs. Bye now.